Because it's not where? It's not in that Greek text. Listen, folks, you can't translate something if it's not there in what you're translating. Come with me to Matthew chapter 18, verse 11. Matthew chapter 18, verse 11. <coughs> Matthew chapter 18, verse 11. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which, is lo- that which was lost. Guess what? It got lost. Somebody misplaced it. Because it's not there. The whole verse is what? Gone. In, in a modern translation. Why? Because it's not what? It's not in the Greek text that they translated from. Come with me to Matthew chapter 19. Matthew chapter 19, look at verse 9. Matthew chapter 19, verse 9. Notice King James reading here. And I, and I say unto you, Whosoever shall put away his wife, except it be for fornication, and shall marry another, committeth adultery. And whoso marrieth her, which is put away, doth commit adultery. Notice the readings up here. I tell NIV, I tell you that anyone who divorces his wife except for marital unfaithfulness and marries another woman commits adultery. The entire phrase, and whosoever marrieth her, which is put away, doth commit adultery, is what? It's gone. Why is it gone? You should see a pattern here, because it's not where? It's not in that Greek text. Let's go, let's keep going. Go to Matthew chapter 24. Look at verse 36. My Bible says, but, but of the day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. If you look at the verses that are behind me, you will see underlined, they add the expression, nor what? Nor the Son. Why do they add it? Because it's in the... It's in the Greek text. Why does the King James not have it? It's not in the what? The Greek text. Let's go to Mark chapter 16. If you have a modern, if you have a modern translation or, or, or look at one on this, you will see that this entire passage from verse 9 all the way to verse 20 is bracketed and is left out of and set in the margin. But the New American Standard does something even more unique than that. I'm going to read to you from Mark chapter 16 in the New American Standard version. Basically what what they do is they add a 21st verse. They say here, they say, um, and verse 21, and they promptly reported all these instructions to Peter and his companions, and after that Jesus himself uh, set out through them to the east and west the sacred and imperishable proclamation of eternal salvation. Now here you've got a real curious one. Because most of them leave out all of verse 9 through 20. Then you've got the New American Standard that not only says the best witnesses leave this out, but then they turn around and suggest to you that there should be an additional 21st verse. Now why would they do that? Because what they're translating has it what? In it or not in it. It's as easy as that. Let's look at a few more. Go to Mark chapter 9, verse 44. <clears throat> I can see I'm going to have to pick. We're not going to get to all these, but I think by the time we're done, you will have seen enough for me to make my main point. Mark chapter 9, verse 44. And the worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. Guess what? Whole verse, what? Gone. Verse 46. Where the worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. What? Gone. Mark chapter 15, verse 28. Gone. Luke chapter 17, verse 36. Gone. Luke chapter 23, verse 17. Missing. Luke chapter 24, verse 40, missing. Acts chapter 8, verse 37, missing. Acts chapter 28, verse 29, missing. Romans chapter 16, verse 24, missing. Listen. If I'm comparing two things, how many things have to be different before they're not the same anymore? One. 
I just went through, I read to you the references of 13 verses that are gone. I read you one verse that was added. I left off, I, I had, if you go through the slides, I have what, another seven slides up there, Joel, on the, on the PowerPoint of stuff that, we, that I wanted to go through, uh, documenting all of the changes. Come with me to Colossians chapter 1, verse 14. I'm going to arrow through until we get to that one. We don't even have time to talk about all of these. Colossians chapter 1. How do you have your sins forgiven? How? By the blood of who? Colossians chapter 1 verse 14, King James Bible. In whom we have redemption, how? Even the forgiveness of what? What's missing in that verse? NIV, New American Standard, New Living Translation, they all leave off what? Oh, I'm sorry, New Living Translation puts it in. But you notice they have a footnote telling you that it really shouldn't be there. You see that? That's, that's why I left it in. Footnote right there. Footnote. Some manuscripts do not include the blood. My main point with you this morning is to impress upon you the fact that all of these versions are not the same. That the main issue in looking at where is God's word in English, it's not how to translate one word into, from Greek into English. It is what are you going to translate from. We have here in the received text the result of the majority witness of the manuscripts that the doctrine of preservation said we should have. We have here in the critical text and the critical apparatus of the Nestle Allen Greek text, we have a different text that represents not the majority of the readings, not the doctrine of, not the doctrine of preservation, but a different text that came to be through the result of a naturalistic viewpoint and of a, te a theory of textual criticism that favored the oldest and the shortest readings and that got away from looking at the majority by coming up with a family classification system so that one set of families can outweigh the one rather than the manuscripts outweighing that rather than the majority of the manuscripts outweighing whatever's left look you should i should have showed you this morning enough verses for you to walk out of here understanding that these bibles are not the same okay now, next week, as we get to the final study in this series, I'm going to show you other differences that touch upon the fundamental faith, the fundamentals of the Christian faith. There is a lie out there that says that every one of these versions, none of them change the fundamentals of the faith. That is not, that is categorically false, and it is not true. And to, next Sunday, I'm going to, we're going to, start and we're going to look at these serious now i'll be honest with you i think that's a serious one right there because without the blood of christ there is no remission of sins folks and if you've got a bible that leaves off the blood of christ there's only really one person that would be interested in doing that and it's not god so next sunday in the final study we're going to look at the serious differences the main point this morning was just to establish for you that there are differences and they're not the same. And that the real issue is that there are fundamentally only two different Bibles. Next week we're going to look at the serious nature of some of these differences in relationship to belief and doctrine. Underneath the blood. You've been watching Just Grace It, a production of Grace Life Bible Church. Salvation is free. Put your faith in the shed blood of Christ as the only payment for your sins. If you are interested in joining a community of believers who rejoice in who God has made them in Jesus Christ, call or write to us or visit us online at justgraceit.com.